As a writer, comedian, researcher, and DJ, I have to have music to focus. But I have friends who need complete silence to study, write, or be productive. So which one's better for our brain and our body? Let's start by finding out what noise the opposite of silence does to our bodies. Studies were conducted by the World Health Organization that linked noise pollution like loud city sounds with higher blood pressure and a higher chance for a fatal heart attack. All right, don't panic. The neighbor playing Migos at 4 a.m. isn't going to kill you, but prolonged exposure to a noisy environment can lead to cognitive deficits as well. Studies have shown that students in schools near airports and train stations have suffered negative effects on long-term memory and reading comprehension, leading some cities to require soundproofing in schools. So, noise may not kill you, but it increases your stress levels, which is no bueno for your brain long-term. Are you hearing this, construction workers who have to fix my sidewalk at 6 a.m.? Yeah, I'm coming for y'all. Silence, on the other hand, has been correlated with lower stress hormones. Also, studies done on mice in 2013 found that those exposed to silence over white noise or even Mozart express higher rates of neurogenesis, or the production of neurons in the hippocampus, the part of the brain that processes memory. Further studies found more evidence that the brain is processing and evaluating new information faster in times of silence over sound. So, less stress, new neurons, new synaptic connections, and memory formation? Sounds good for productivity. I know what you're thinking, but I do my best work when I'm listening to Evanescence. Me too, I love Bring Me to Life, but be patient, we're getting there. Music permeates all parts of the brain, not just the temporal lobe or the auditory cortices. If the song slaps or if it's trash, it'll activate your amygdala and parts of your limbic system responsible for emotional response. What's more, both music and language are auditorily processed. Both are forms of communication. And I don't know about y'all, but I consider music like a language. I mean, have you seen sheet music? That's like from a different alien race. New research shows that there may be neurons in the auditory cortex that activate specifically for music, not language or other random sounds. So if your brain is busy processing emotions, lyrics, and now there's all these new other neurons firing, how much attention is left to remember Sokotoa? Remember that gem from seventh grade algebra? I'm old. Science says, eh, it depends. A 2010 study found that music may impair cognitive abilities if you're trying to memorize a specific order. It could be thrown off by a key change, a lyrical choice, or Drake getting you deep down in your feelings. Even if you're not distracted, a 2006 study measured the effects of tempo on the cardiovascular and respiratory systems. Slow meditative music can get us to relax, slowing both your heart rate and your breathing. But this study found that we're the most relaxed when there's a, wait for it, pause. See what I did there? So, silence wins? Well, if your goal is complete zen relaxation while you write that final, then yeah, I guess try silence. But again, this all depends on a lot of variables. Lyrics, tempo, and genre have all been shown to have various effects on focus, mood, and productivity. But if you have to listen to that Randy Newman and get those reports in, more power to you. If you have a work or study playlist, go for it. Verdict, man, do you? If you'll excuse me, I have to go listen to some Celine Dion because I love Titanic. Later, later. Yo, what's good? Thanks for watching Seeker. Be sure to subscribe. I'm watching you subscribe. And since we talked about how silence and music affects your brain, what about ASMR? That really gives you the tingles. Be sure to check out this episode right here for everything scientists know about it. If you've got two cents and you don't know where to put it, leave them in the comments below. And as always, thank you for watching.